Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. K Talks Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about introduction to Azure Data Factory. I have created a separate playlist for Azure Data Factory tutorials. So this is the first video for that playlist. I'll be uploading many videos about Azure Data Factory and all these videos will be added to this playlist. So today let's see what is ADF. Uh, ADF stands for Azure Data Factory. So Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based ETL tool. So ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. And it also acts like an orchestrator. So these are the two main definitions of ADF. It is a cloud-based ETL tool and also it acts like an orchestrator. So what do you mean by orchestrator and ETL? Does it make any sense to you? I think many doesn't know about what is ETL and orchestrator. So it's completely fine. Uh, let's understand the Azure Data Factory with an example, which explains about the ETL process and the orchestration in a much simpler way. So in this example, let's consider a chocolate factory. Let's take the famous Willy Wonka chocolate factory as an example here. So in this chocolate factory, there is a manager who takes care of the uh, factory. And also there are three workers who is actually making the chocolate itself. So this manager has more connections to multiple dealers who provides raw materials for this factory to make the chocolate. So some of the dealers are the dealer who is providing the cocoa seed and the dealer who is providing the sugar and also the dealer who is providing the milk. So this manager has a good relationship with all the uh, providers who is supplying the raw materials to the factory. So what he does is like he collects all the raw materials and sends that to the factory. So once the raw materials arrives in the factory, the workers is going to use these raw materials to make the chocolate. These workers should work in a specific order to make this chocolate. For example, the first worker will clean all the raw materials that's arrived in the factory. So once the first worker done with the cleaning of the raw materials, he sends the cleaned raw materials to the second worker, whereas the second worker mix all these raw materials together to make the actual chocolate. And once the chocolate has been made, this chocolate has been sent to the third worker who is going to wrap the chocolate. So as I said before, these workers is the one who is actually working to make the chocolate. But the one main thing to note here is the manager doesn't do any actual work in making the chocolate. Instead, he is actually managing the workers uh, to see if they are doing the work correctly or not. And also to check if the workers is doing the work in a certain order. And also he, the manager is responsible for getting all the raw materials from the dealers. So at the end of the third step, that is wrapping the chocolate, we then finally have a chocolate. And this chocolate is then finally sent to the shop where the user can go to the shop and then buy the chocolate. We as an end user, we just go to the shop and then we pay the money and get the chocolate. But we don't know like what's happening in the back end and we are not also interested in that. So here the manager manages the entire process, he drives the entire process. So you can just replace this manager with Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory does the exact job of the manager in this scenario. Also the raw materials, the cocoa seed, sugar, and the milk can be replaced with multiple data sources, which gives files in various formats. For example, there is a data source which generates CSV files, and also there is another data source which generates a JSON files, and there is another data source which generates the text files. And this ADF can connect to these data sources, extract all the data, and send it to the next stage. So here, the three workers who is actually making the chocolate from the raw materials in three different stages, this can be exactly done in ADF using activities. And ADF does these activities with the help of pipelines. So what does these three activities means like, for example, in the activity one, you can consider this as a copy activity, which copies the data from source to the destination. And you can consider activity two as a data cleaning activity. For example, if there is any data issues in the source, for example, you had to change the column names 
or you have to handle the missing values. All this data cleaning can be done in the activity 2. And also you can consider activity 3 as a data aggregation step. For example, if you want to uh, write a logic to get a total count or get a total sum, this kind of aggregations can be done in the activity 3. But the main thing here is like ADF doesn't do all this uh, data manipulation step. ADF does this using different series of activities using pipelines. So this activity should be executed in the certain order. For example, activity one should occur first. It needs to copy the data first. And then the activity two, who is doing some sort of data cleaning. And in the activity three, uh, making the aggregated data to the most curated format. So at the end of activity three, we get a most cleaned version of data. So this cleaned version of data is then finally loaded into the database. So this end-to-end -end data flow is exactly managed by Azure Data Factory. Here, Azure Data Factory acts as an orchestrator, which means that the entire data flow is managed by Azure Data Factory, and it is not the one who is performing the actual activity itself. Instead, it uses this pipeline to perform these activities. Now we have an end-to-end -end data flow. The first step of data extraction, this is called extract, where the ADF extracts the data from the data source. And in the middle part of the actual data transformation that happens in these three activities, so this is considered as transform. And once we get the final data, the final data is loaded to the database, right? And this process is called load. So this is extract transform load, which is called ETL. And this process of extract, transform, and load can be done using Azure Data Factory, often by an data engineers. So this is one of the many tasks that data engineers usually work uh, in any organization. So once the data has been loaded into the database, we now have a structured and clean data. And now this database can be used by an analyst to build any kind of reports or uh, to make any business insights out of it. And also a yeah, data scientist can connect to this database to get the cleanest form of data in order to train a machine learning algorithm for predictions. That's it for today. I think now you have a clear idea about what Azure Data Factory exactly is and what does an Azure Data Factory do and also some idea about the ETL process. In the next video, let's see how we can create an Azure Data Factory using Azure Portal. Stay tuned for that. And thanks for listening. See you in another video. Cheers. Bye.